The National Security Agency has reportedly installed software and computers around the world that lets the United States government monitor those machines even if the computers are not connected to the Internet. They can get to you whether you're online or not. That's according to the reporting of the New York Times citing NSA documents, computer experts, and U.S. officials. According to those sources, the secret technology could also let the NSA launch a cyber attack. But agency officials tell us the times they use it to defend against attacks. That's what it's for, not to launch them. Hmm. The targets reportedly include drug cartels and the Russian and Chinese militaries. Other newspapers have reported on parts of this program previously, using documents from the former NSA contractor Ed Snowden. The technology reportedly uses radio waves and is affecting nearly 100,000 computers around the world, but apparently none here in the United States. At least that's what they tell us. An NSA spokeswoman tells Fox News, and I quote, NSA's activities are focused and specifically deployed against and only against valid foreign intelligence targets in response to intelligence requirements. Well, Fox News senior judicial analyst Judge Andrew Napolitano is with us on the Fox News deck. Nothing is surprising anymore. Nothing. No, no, it's not. Well, what's a little different about this is there's no flat denial by the NSA. It's yeah. basically saying to us, don't worry about it. We only use this for going after the bad guys. So mm -hmm. if, if you trust them, then you trust them with listening to all of our emails and all of our texts and all of our phone calls, because according to them, while they have that stored, they don't listen and they don't read. And they only use this technology overseas. We don't even know what this technology is. No, but we understand that it is done wirelessly and that it enables the NSA basically to hack into computers. Now, if they could hack into a computer in, in Milan, Italy, or, or in Syria, they could hack into a, a computer in Hackensack, New Jersey, or in Dallas, Texas. Hackensack, I saw what you did there. All right. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, the, the point is, if they can do it, history tells us they're going to do it. Yes. They're going to. Yes, because they operate in secret. The court meets in secret. The records are kept secret. There's no public accountability, so there's no restraint on their uh, behavior. Yeah, we already know that some of their tactics that are supposed to be used against terrorists have also been used against uh, ordinary criminals and against, and against drug dealers. We also know that the judge who found this unconstitutional found it ineffective, that the judge who found it constitutional said there's no evidence that it works, that the president's own appointed oversight review board that had two full-time intelligence community professionals, including a former director of the CIA, found that it doesn't work. So why are they doing it? They can't answer that because, well, their answer work. is we can't tell you if it works. Because if we tell you whether or not it works, we'll be spilling the beans. Now, that is simply not a logical argument in a free society about whether or not we're going to let the government spy on us. And yet the number of sheeple out in, the, out in this country who say, ah, oh, let them do whatever they want. If they're protecting my freedom and they're protecting us from the bad guys, then let them do whatever the hell they want. Those people are going to be the ones to, to hold responsible when it all goes down the toilet. Because if they can break every, every tenet of the Constitution in trampling on our freedoms and our liberties to get to these things, then we've lost it. Yes. You can just throw and it out the window. Unfortunately, a majority of the Congress seems to agree with the argument that you just so nicely uh, summarized. You have, on the right, Senator Rand Paul attacking it. On the left, Senator Bernie Sanders, from, a socialist from Vermont, attacking it. And in the middle, now there are others who agree with them, yeah. but in the middle, the vast majority of both parties in both houses of Congress say, we've got to look tough. It's better, to be, look better tough. to be safe than sorry. What, it doesn't what's make us to tough. Freedom? It doesn't even work. The, the, the people who have said, one who said it's constitutional, one who said it's unconstitutional, and the president's own overseer say, we don't actually think this works. And it's N not effective. And the NSA says, we can't tell you if it works because then we'll be telling you too much. Look, we, we know this. Yep. The government has stealthily acquired the ability to destroy privacy. And soon a generation of Americans will come of age, children born in the past four or five years, who will never know what privacy means. And it'll be gone. Yes. Which it is. Judge, thank you, pleasure. but it's our fault. Specifically, it's your fault if that's how you feel about it. But that's just me.